Hey everyone, this is Jillian Graham. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the click to add text boxes um, for digital worksheets, if you want to use them for that, or just to, um, to give students a place to add text in an assignment that you might be using in Google Slides. So when I used this, I used it in a personality activity with my students. They take a personality quiz on 16personalities.com. And I did get this. This is actually a handout that I got on Teachers Pace Teachers, and I'll link this in the um, description below this video. But I purchased the format um, for them to fill out, and then I made it digital. She actually has made a digital version that uh, you could just download, but I wanted to use it to show you how to create these click to add text boxes. I really like using these over just regular text boxes because you only have to click once and you don't have to double click, which sometimes on a Chromebook or when you're using a laptop, that's where um, things can get a little tricky. Kids will move the text box out of place um, or accidentally delete the text boxes. Now these can still be moved, um, so I still recommend that you teach your students how to use control Z to undo. Um, but it's just easier to add the text with one click rather than having to double click. And then you don't have to add the words click to add text. It's automatically going to be there. I also like to format the text boxes just to give it some variety. So I have the font set, the color. Um, I change it up for different text boxes but they just go in and they click to add their their text as they're filling it out and then I gave them an example of how to do that so let me show you how to create these text boxes so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to view master and I'm just gonna create a new layout by hitting the plus button right here. You don't want to change any of the existing layouts because if I change, for instance, like this master slide right here, it's going to change everything in my presentation, like every slide, because it is the master layout. So what you want to do is create a custom layout that you can use whenever you want. So I'm going to create a custom layout here. I'm going to delete this. And then you can add the image in the background, which I'm going to do real quick. Okay, so I just grabbed my background image, and I had this as a PDF, so I just used pdfcandy.com to convert the PDF to PNGs, or you can use a screenshot. I just prefer the way it comes out with the PDF to PNG converter on the PDF Candy website, which I've shown in an, uh, another tutorial. I'll link that below as well if you need help with converting PDFs to images. Otherwise, you can just screenshot it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, instead of adding a regular text box, I'm going to click on this down arrow right here, and I'm going to add a body text placeholder. So what that's going to do is, I'm, and I'm going to work from the bottom up, and you'll see why in a second, this body text placeholder is going to give me, um, it's going to have all the formatting, so what it's going to be, you know, if they use bullets or whatever, how how small it's going to show or how large the font is going to be. And then I just set the text to a uh, different uh, font, color, whatever, size. Probably make that one a little bit smaller because they're typing some different things in. And then that's it. You just change. Um, you, I guess you could change each level if you really wanted to, but there's probably not going to be um, that much opportunity to use all of these bullets um, and these levels. So I just changed the first level. And I give students flexibility with this too. They can change the font, they can change the color to whatever they want. I just give them something to start with. So let me do a few more here. So I'm gonna click on the down arrow, body text placeholder, change it up, do some different colors. Okay, 
And then let's do one more. I can rotate this one. Okay, so just some different options. Um, and again, I'm working from the bottom up because you'll see, let me show you one that I have done. See how it gets a little messy? Um, so if you work from the bottom up, you can kind of still see what you're doing instead of like this being in the way when I go to make this one or this being in the way when I go to make this one. I just work from the bottom up. So it looks really messy, but when I go to apply the layout, so let me just add a new slide here. Instead of clicking on new slide, I'm going to add a new slide with a layout. So I had created the one I just did was custom layout four. So I'm going to click on that one. And it's going to add a new slide down here with that one. And you can see these were the three text boxes. And you literally just click once and then students can type in there. Okay. Very easy for them to navigate. I used this with all of my students last week and not a single one had a question about how to do this. Um, if you are using this with your students, I would just recommend that you um, only use this particular activity probably at the high school level because um, there are a couple different sections on the website that they don't really need to be exploring. I specifically tell my kids not to explore those. They only need the information to fill out this form um, from the other categories and I teach high school so um, I don't they don't have a problem following directions and knowing not to go into the romantic relationships category <laughs> of information. It's not really that bad, but still uh, using something like that at the middle school level might get a little uh, iffy um, if, there's, if your students are a little bit more immature. So um, just keep that in mind if you are going to use this. But I love this activity. I have students that make some phenomenal conclusions. Um, just It's a just great activity for um, self-awareness and learning about their personalities and their strengths and their weaknesses and how it's going to help them in our class, uh, weaknesses that they want to work on um, in our class, um, just personality-wise, and really gets them um, start thinking about their soft skills that they can use in any career. Um, so I just really like using this activity with them. So anyways, you can use these text boxes with anything. It's really easy to use um, for students to just have that one click to um, be able to add their text. And they can still, you know, change the uh, font if they want to. They can still change the color. But at least that text box is already there to get them started. Now, when they're completing this activity, if you're using Google Classroom, you're going to want to share this with them um, by making a copy for each student using that Google Classroom option. And if you're not familiar with um, that option in Google Classroom, take a look at my other tutorial on posting assignments in Google Classroom. They will need their own copy of this um, so that they are not editing your original document. All right. Let me know, as always, if you have any questions in the comments, and thanks for watching.